Today I'm going to reach level 10 and unlock the Longhorn Converted to Vehicle in Jerpex Season 18 and my weekly contracts are to arrest 15 criminals, stay 6 criminals, pass the bank robbery, bump it of 400 objects, rob the power plant 2 times in one life and also collect a bounty of 4000. There are a lot of products to do, so let's get started. So, as always, I'm going to start with the police contracts, and actually, I think I only have to bust the bank robbery because the XP that I can collect with the criminal contracts is enough for me to reach level 10. And right now, the robberies that are open are Casino and Crater City Bank, so I will just sit here and wait until the Crater City Bank opens. And this guy just started a bank robbery, I will quickly go there and bust it. I think there is only one, so there won't be a huge group of criminals shooting me. It's the presidential vault floor, the one with the exploding wall. One of the hardest floors to play as a criminal, but not that hard to bust it. This guy is shooting me. He also opened the exit, but there's no way he robbed it that far, and I will go to the vault and... I busted the robbery, but this guy escaped when he saw me before I busted the robbery. Now the Razer City Bank is on a robbery. Luckily, I didn't have to wait a lot, and I'm here to bust it. I promise I won't fail this time. It's my only chance. It's a classic floor, an easy floor to bust. Okay, there's my guy. I'm going to. I just made the stupidest roll I could, I just pumped it to every laser and I immediately died, but nothing is over, I still have time to take this Camaro and go to the bank, I won't roll this time, there he is, uh, a mistake in him, but he's not going for me, so and I managed to pass him. 50 XP is now mine, and I think it's time to take my escape pot go into the prison and change team so I can be a criminal and escape easily. The first criminal contract that I'm going to do is to collect a bounty of 4000. I think after the increase of bounties it's going to be an easy contract. The first property that I'm going to do is to drop the passenger train and I'm going to miss it. So I will quickly go through the criminal pace. And there it is, I jumped into this card, I didn't miss it this time. To collect the max bounty, I have to collect as much money as I can, got 3000. Now I'm running to the criminal pace to get my bounty and also 20 XP for doing a robbery and have 900 bounty, not even a thousand. But now I will go to the jewelry store that just opened, which is going to give me way more bounty. Okay, let's cut the glass. Now I mean punch, 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 punch. Punch this. This and 5k are collected. This is an easy set of flaws. There's no way I'm dying. Wait until the lasers go and let's roll. Not a lot of damage. I will escape from the back where I have left my escape pot. This vehicle that I got for defeating the CEO boss battle is one of the best airbrake vehicles because it's small but also flies like a helicopter. And now I have 2500 bounty, I'm just 1500 away from completing the contract and I'm going to get them by robbing the cargo ship even if I don't get all the bounty from the first time I can rob it once more so it's definitely my last robber and who knows maybe I will also reach level 10 in the meantime. Got the crate, this vehicle has the best size to rob the cargo ship, steady. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, they're shooting me, they're shooting me, there's a cop shooting me, and... Oh, just in the nick of time. Okay, I got the 4000 bounty I needed. I'm just 10 XP away from reaching level 10. One robbery can give me the XP that I need, and it will be no other than the tomb. My favorite robbery of the game. I will tell people to come through the team chat. All three guys are here. I'm going to. Oh, there's a cop coming. There's a cop coming. Let's escape with my escape pod. Did they kill the cop? Did they got arrested? I don't know. Anyways, the cop has left and new guys are coming to rob the tomb. I think no cop is going to come now. We are going to rob the tomb. 
Hey, the door just opened. Is the laser party easy, but the turkey just died. It's a noob turkey. Now we are moving to the tricky part. The tip that I have for this part is to just run. No one's coming on the gate. I'm going to cross it first. Enter the treasure area. Grab my gem, and I'm going to sit in the cart. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes, level ten. Let's go. Lakedos has reached level ten and unlocked the Longhorn convertible vehicle. Redeem my vehicle, and now I'm going to take my little bird helicopter and go to the military base to launch my seasonal nuke. Launch nuke. Lakedos launched the nuke. Take over! And boom! Now you all tied. These guys are thanking me for giving them the opportunity to unlock the red radiant paint color. No problem guys, it's my pleasure. And before we end the video, I'm going to test the Longhorn convertible vehicle. One of my favorite seasonal vehicles made by Dingo Dongo. This vehicle has a good acceleration at the start. It's not as fast as the season 17 vehicle was, but it's also pretty good. Then it has a speed of around 150 mile per hour. It can go a little higher if you are driving steady, but that's not really possible in jailbreak roads. But as always, what is going to matter more is its design and how unique it is. And yeah. It was pretty unique. It's 100% into the theme of season 18 which was Wild West. A lot of people didn't really like this theme but I don't know why. It's 10 times better than the European theme we had in season 17. So yeah, this vehicle is unique. It's completely to the theme and also has a good driving quality. I can see it is one of the best seasonal vehicles we've seen in jailbreak so far. Congrats to the developer. Anyway, Thanks the end of this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. In season 19 I'm going to do a challenge like I did in season 17, so stay tuned for that, but for now, bye bye!